sorry, the number you have dialed is not in service at this time. All right, first pie guy here. You're looking at a uh, eight channel 12 volt relay here hooked up to the Raspberry Pi. Now I don't have nothing on the output of it, but we're not really focused on that. We're more worried about the wiring and to get the uh, relays to turn on and off. So as you can see here, we have, it's kind of hard to see, but this is a uh, eight through one or one through eight. Then we have our, uh, our positive and negative for the, uh, to activate the relay. So this relay has high and low uh, switches there to pull off the jumper and move over to low if need be. <clears throat> so I just have this hooked up one through eight for the relays hooked up to GPIO 23, 22, 20, 19, 27, 21, 13, and 26. Then obviously five volt and ground for the uh, relay. Now this I think will handle 12 volts, but it will also activate at five volts to uh, turn the relays on and off. So let's go ahead and do that. <clears throat> and there we go. As you can see, the script is uh, turning them on and off. So let's move over to the computer. I'll show you the script and uh, I'll throw a link in the description to my website for this uh, information and code. All right, so now we're back here on the uh, computer and it's still running here. So we'll just do a control C to stop that. So, if we want to look here at the code, now you can name this whatever you want. I just called it 8channel.py for, for whatever reason. Alright, so, if you look here, like I said, these are the GPIO pins that we're using. And... You'll have to update that to match whatever ones you are using. And down here, you can adjust how long and how long they are off and how long they are on in seconds. So that will do that. Then we just got the loop and everything. Then the printout to quit when you hit the control C. So to run this, we just want to save it with a control X, Y, and enter if you're using nano. And we can just run this with a simple Python, then whatever your script is called. And when you hit enter, that's what it'll look like because we're not printing nothing out. So to cancel, we'll just do a control C. So that will run until you hit control C to cancel. So that's pretty much it. Like I said, I'll throw a link in the description to my website for the code and uh, some information for, you know, pictures and whatnot. All right. Thanks for watching.